Hello everyone. Happy Easter. I hope the weather's really nice like it is here. It's amazing. So I hope you have a really beautiful day. So today we're talking about uh, migraine. Uh, it's fairly common, but it's very debilitating. So what I found that there's some strong feelings behind migraine and the clients I've worked through have had some amazing results just by uh, addressing the feelings. Uh, I suppose uh, the overall feeling is not allowing yourself to live according to your true nature. Um, this has been suppressed as you felt stupid when experiencing your own needs as a child, when trying to express your own needs as a child, you may have felt um, stupid, which left you feeling hypersensitive to criticism, fear, and there's a fear of rejection and abandonment. Uh, it also can be a longing for mother's love, which may have been missing as well. These are very important foundations to our life that could have started um, everything off with, with migraines. Um, there can be also, in some cases, a sexual abuse or sexual suppression. And this one is, can be very strong. There's a connection with the uh, sacroiliac joint, the pelvis, and it's all to do with the sexual area. And there's always a connection with, with the head as well. Um, so there may be um, some past trauma and grief built into that, which being so strong really can give uh, really um, debilitating headaches. Okay. Um, also, the sacrum, which is at the base of your spine, is to do with personal power. And sexual abuse is actually a lot to do with abuse of power all these famous people are being exposed now um it's all it's a lot of this is to do with power and um also it makes it even more so if if uh, someone sees the power in someone else and they suppress them so this is very so this is suppressed power and when you have suppressed power you actually don't feel good enough not feeling good enough sets you on a path of having to prove yourself, okay? And that's why many, many achievers, high achievers and perfectionists come from not believing they're good enough, if they only knew they were great. But that's how it is, it's the program. And of course, when you're a small child, we believe everything and it's almost drummed into us. Um, and then we live it. And we can even live one of our parents' um, feelings the same. They could have been abused or whatever. And so you've got it in stereo. Um, so the whole life then is trying to prove yourself. And of course, what, what do you get when you have to prove yourself? Pressure. Okay. This is all to do with pressure. So we've come from a place of, of being pressurized to having to pressurize ourselves. We take over from the childhood program. Um, and there can be a fear of failure, but there can also be a fear of success as well. And it can, this, this can be a reason sometimes to avoid work, uh, to avoid school, to avoid sex, okay? It's funny, this is saying is, not now I've got a headache, okay? Um, because actually to re release that sexuality within a, yourself, I'm not going to go into the details of that, but that's going to actually relieve a, a migraine. Okay. Um, so there's a, also in the, brain, in the brain, there's a thinking overload and overwhelm. So um, there's too much in, uh, uh, unnecessary information there. Um, and it can result sometimes in a frustration and rage. Okay. Um, the result of that, of, of that frustration and rage, one can become rigid. Okay. And um, duty bound. Uh, 
not wanting to change because of that fear that runs behind okay and it also restricts the flow of life and that is so important we're here to flow through life and we are we are restricted in different ways actually we'll be restricted with different situations it can be a relationship with health with finances with career whatever um but this one is this is the whole theme of those who suffer with migraine it's it's also is to release that um frustration it comes through the throat chakra and that is to very attached to the thyroid as well so if we see ourselves as a pressure cooker if you close off the valve what's going to happen to the head okay and that is what's happening to us we're not releasing that pressure and also um we're kind of swimming upstream really against the flow whereas the whole idea of this is to flow with with the river of life and when we start doing that um our true self starts to appear in all this uh, situation what has been suppressed is our true self there's unexpressed negative feelings of unhappiness and outrage there which being a nice person you're not going to express but the body's going to the body's got to express it the soul has to express it the body is a wonderful way of doing that uncomfortable because it's reflecting the uncomfortableness of life so um is to choose the whole idea is to choose to flow with life and to relax into that flow of life and it can make such a difference we don't you don't need other people to punish us we can manage perfectly well ourselves actually better it may have started off where we were punished when we were children perhaps or being told things that put us down but to prevent that we'll energetic you say oh don't, we don't need to do that anymore you know um i'll tell you what i can do it myself now and that just takes all that pain from these other people so we do it more so to really make sure that doesn't we're not affected again that is what we do and the so the body is a wonderful way of expressing what's going wrong in our life okay so that's just a, a brief summary of how i work um i work with dealing with these programs so they no longer affect you okay you can see it's all on my website in energetic wisdom and uh, any questions you can follow up i doubt if i get any questions now i may i may be talking just to a screen because it's a lovely sunny day and it's easter okay but when you catch up with this don't be afraid to put some comments or questions and i will follow up with it so have a wonderful day and speak to you again um, next time this is on a poll that i had to cut off and this is the one that uh, was most in the most demand there's a lot i think arthritis next we'll see what comes up with the next poll and then i'll go for that okay okay love you all bye now